Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is another Timu haul. Yes, it is. So, I want to go ahead and start out uh, with some bigger things and share with you what I've created uh, or what I purchased. Um, so this one is a influencer haul. So I got um, a certain amount of credits and could pick the items that I wanted from the links they provided. So I will have a link in the description box that will take you to um, these picked items. And um, it will also give you a 30% off discount um, going through my link. So I will have that, like I said, in the description box. And if I can remember, I will also put it as a pinned comment. All right, so... Um, Timu is a super popular, um, has everything shop online shopping store, and you can really find anything and everything. There is always, there's something for everybody. There's always new stuff. The prices are always like getting cut down for sales events and things like that. So it is super awesome. If you've not checked it out yet, what are you waiting for? Timu is awesome. Okay, so, the first thing here, um, I am, like I said, I'm going to go through the bigger items first, so I can get those out of the way. So, the first thing is this diamond dot, uh, like, diamond painting, and, um, it was five oh nine. I was surprised when I came across this. Um, I did use, um, and shop from the journaling campaign, um, so I shopped all things journal and craft related, so... First, here we have all of our um, diamond dots, uh, some tools, the tray, the wax, and the pen. And look at this. I was so excited to find one that was Pennywise. Check this out. We love horror film characters, and we really love Pennywise. This is going to be so cool once we finish it, so I will definitely have a video on that. And come back and share with you guys what it looks like. Super excited about this one. Um, I love diamond paintings. Uh, my family does. All of us. Um, and it's not often you find one with horror characters. And see it does tell you there. The little image of what it's supposed to be. And then there's your chart. So yeah. Super excited. Super excited about that. Alright. Next... I'm so excited about this, too. Um, so, this is an organizer. Sits upwards like this on your desk. And things go in um, at a slant like this. So, I've got all different tools and markers and pencils. And it's going to work great for separating things. Right now, I have everything in a piled in a little basket. I'm always scrummaging through it, trying to find what I want, so I can put all my scissors in one slot, you know, so on. Um, all my squeezers down here at the bottom, maybe. So, yeah, this is a great little um, organizer. And like I said, my basket is more, you know, out. Um, and this is slim and goes upward, so it's going to take up a lot less space. That was my main reason for wanting to try this out. Um... And this guy was only a dollar eighty nine. Um, I did a little note and stuck it on here. I'll have to get that adhesive off. I shouldn't have used that adhesive. Um, so anyway, yeah, just a dollar eighty nine. Definitely worth it. Um, good hard plastic. I see uh, it lasting, you know, a while. So I have to get that adhesive off. It's bothering me. Um, I'll have to do that later. But I'm actually thinking of altering this, um, adding paper, um, and dressing it up to be pretty on my desk. So, if I can get up, uh, that done, I will come back and share that. Or I may just do it on a live. I'm not sure yet. So, yeah. Definitely a good find. Alright, next... Start from the bottom of this pile. Alright, so these are sorry for the sound. Uh, so they are like die storage. I think it might have said sticker storage. 
So they've got holes for a binder, and I actually have a binder with holes just like this, and it's a zip pouch. Um, I think I'm going to use it for dies, to organize dies in. Um, with the zip pouch, I don't have to worry about pieces falling out, and then I can just put a label on the front to tell me, you know, who it's from or what company. So this was a 12-piece for $3.99. And let me see if I have my ruler. Yes. Okay. So these measure the entire bag is five and three fourths of an inch. Um, the part that will hold things measures five inches. That's up to the right up under the zipper. So five inches. And then length is um, eight and a quarter. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure this would fit a lot of different things. I mean, it's got a lot of space in there, so it doesn't have to be just dies. Um, pen, you know, pen holders. You could have a book that has pencils in one and markers in one and Winka Stella's in another and, you know, different things. Or for die cuts or anything. Super good find. And I wanted to check out the quality so I can buy some more. Um, it's like a light frosted vinyl. So I really like that. And then, I do have, uh, this is all crafty stuff this time, so. Okay, the next thing is this uh, sticker book. So it was $1.49. And um, it's flat, but it does fold up. And then you have all these pages in here to put, uh, you know, like leaves of, or pages of stickers, my bad. Oh, there's the elastic. That's neat. How do I get that out? It comes with a little... Well... Oh, it's got a little sleeve up there. Pretty neat. All right, so this part you put in uh, in a little hole, and then it'll pop out the other side and be a, let's see, I'll have to get my poker tool to get that out, but that's the little hole you'd put this in from the inside, and then, goodness, how many pages did this, okay, so it's upside down. So, wow, a lot of pages. And you got this whole side, too. But, um, so you would just fold on those markings. There we go. And it becomes a book. And there's a little notch once that's inside. There's a little notch there for your little sticker book. That would be awesome. You can label them, line them up in different colors. Um, I chose this mint green, but they have like pink and purple, maybe yellow, and uh, I don't even know what else. But yeah, that was a really good find. Super excited about that. And then we have some stamps and dies. So here's the biggest set. I was super excited to find this stamp set, you guys. So I recently found some stickers um, that match a craft collection that I'm obsessed with. And these are the same little critters, so I could, like, for sure make more. So there's, like, a beetle and, like, a, a ladybug, maybe. And then a moth, a different kind of moth here. And then, of course, these big ba uh, butterflies. But the word fly metamorphosis don't be afraid change is such a beautiful thing so this was 249 and the whole stamp set see if it's, make sure it's all the way up in there okay so the whole stamp set measures uh, five and three fourths by eight 
So it's a pretty good size. Not a little 4 by 6 or anything like that. Uh, the next one, um, I chose these. They're so cute. Look at this. So you've got a skeleton woman and man. She's got her little headband on and her messy bun. Adorable. She's got a bow and a necklace. Or he could have a bow tie. And then she's got sunglasses. He's got sunglasses. Necklace. Super cute. And this was only $1.99. And then uh, two more stamp sets. So this one was $1.49. It has this beautiful uh, little border piece. It has love and then the definition. Um, there's a clock here. Together is a beautiful place to be. All you need is love. A cute butterfly. And then um, forever and always. I'm not sure if I ever mentioned this, but uh, me and my fiance... We say forever and always. Most people say always and forever. So, F and A, like forever and always, it's just our thing. So, I was like excited when I found that. I had to grab it. It's going to be great for cards. Um, this one, I know it is Christmassy. Even though it is not Christmas time. Um, let me pull this one out to show you. Let's see if I've got a piece of... Uh, I've got a pink, piece of pink cardstock. Here we go. So it says, have your, your elf a merry little Christmas. You've been elfed. Uh, we elves try to stick to the four, fain, four main food groups. And then you would use like snowflakes, candies, um, candy cane, syrup. That'd be so cute. Um, embrace your inner elf. And then does somebody need a hug? And then you've got several different little elves here. It's like the Elf on the Shelf type one. So, I really love that. And this, uh, this set, this may be about a four by six. Yeah, the whole thing measures four and a quarter by six and a quarter. So, it's about a four by six set. And again, that was $1.49. I don't know why I had, and no, that one. Yeah, it was $1.49. Okay, sorry. The uh, Together is a beautiful place to be. That one was also $1.49. My bad. And then I got some dies. Um, what did I do with that one? I just bought it. Okay, so this one I have already used and gotten into. Um, I love it. It makes this little box. And when you leave the frame in and cut it, it comes out looking like the cutest little donut box ever. Uh, let me, I think I have, oh yeah, I have one right here. So for a swap I'm working on, um, we had to include a sequin mix. So I used my big O scoop, put it in a bag, and then I put it inside this little donut box. Isn't that adorable? So I used a sticker here to help close it. Um, let me see. Okay, so you open it and it's got its flaps here. I did put acetate inside the window. Um, but you could put any little goodies in there, and I thought this was just a really cute way to share a sequin mix for my swap. And this is a regular, like, 65-pound cardstock, and it did great. So, I'm sure it would do really great with 110-pound. Um, and this little box, when put together, measures 2.5 by 2 by... Mm, right between 7 eighths of an inch and 3 fourths. So, yeah, cute little box there. Super excited to have this die in my stash. Um, the whole die is six and a quarter by six, right at six inches. Um, I do know this, this fit my big kick machine, and it putting it in this way, it just fit at the edges, like there were, uh, there was one, the edge was so close it didn't cut it, so I just went in and sipped it with my scissors. Otherwise, it fits great. And, let me see. I thought. Maybe I didn't get that this time. I can't find the price for this one, but I will find it. Um, there is a chance that it was, <laughs> it belonged in my last T-Move video, and I forgot to share that, or I'm sharing again. 
either way, super cute little box um, in the die. So yeah, I will get that information for you. And then here's some dies. Um, this one, super cute. It's a round die, and so it cuts out this little bunny here. Um, and so you can make a shaker. And then you have this over here with this pretty vine design, the words Hoppy and, oh, it actually says Hoppy Birthday. It is Hoppy Birthday. I thought it would say Hoppy Easter, but you got a little butterfly, some leaves. So the main circle one here that you're going to be using comes to right at two and five eighths of an inch. And this little guy was two eighty nine. And then I got this bunny set. So you have, um, this piece has the borders to make a shaker. So this can be your acetate and your backing piece. And then you have this one that embosses that cute little, uh, like buffalo check design. And, um, the shaker bunny here measures, let's see, his tall ear that's sticking up measures two and three-eighths of an inch and then he's like an inch and a quarter wide that was 129 uh this next one is this cute little candy holder um it was a dollar 89 and so you put this two together you cut two and then you you know intertwine the flaps in the bottom close the top and it fits like a little bonbon candy or maybe a little sequin mix container um really any little gift um, you can manage to fit in there because you can leave this open. It can only go to the top. It can close down to here. Depends on what you want to do. And then you have a layering piece here if you want to put a border on your cutout there. Let's see, $1.89. I couldn't remember if I just said that, but this one is two and five eighths of an inch and not counting the bottom. It is three and seven eighths of an inch tall super fun little die i cannot wait to play with that all right this next one um i'm not going to open this and read the contents because um it is what it says uh my little bag of sweary affirmations there it is my little bag of sweary affirmations so there's like little positive affirmations um on cards uh but they have swear words in them so, um, if you'd like to see what they say, maybe you message me privately. Um, I don't want to break any kind of rules by using, you know, ugly words of any kind. So, um, but this was $2.99 and they had like a 16 piece or an 18 piece or a 32 piece, different things. So yeah, there's that one. Um, this time for, I got more, um... Wax seal related stuff. Uh, but I did get a few other craft items. So this one is. Um, it's a heart chain. It is adorable. So here it is. I'm obviously going to take it apart. And use it for like dangles and such. But isn't that beautiful? Such pretty gold chain. With then hearts. Um, and you get 39 inches of it. And it was two forty nine, so that's not bad. We wouldn't you? I mean, you know how many you cut that apart in pieces, probably about that length. So you know, however many times it wraps around the card, that's about how many pieces you've got. So one, two, three, ooh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So at least eleven pieces there um, for like dangles and such. Again, that was two forty nine. Um, this one was a find for my son, so it came with this holder, and then it came with two of these refills. Um, it is a, it says dress the eraser. I don't know, um, but it's, um, so you know how pencils click, 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 and any pencil only has a tiny eraser. So this one, you click it, and the eraser comes out, and you can erase, and then watch this. You can, when you want to put it back in, press the button. There you go. So I thought that would be great for my son to have in his bag for class. The regular pencils have <laughs> such tiny erasers on the end. And um, 
I may need to get one for myself because my pencil is quite flat on the end. Let's see. Here's one. So you can see mine's flat. Um, but my son goes through these like crazy. And it gets expensive buying those bags and bags of erasers for the whole class and stuff like that. Uh, so I thought this was a good, good option. Um, you can use the eraser without the pen, but it is a refill. So you get the two sticks. That's the whole thing you take out. And then to put it back in, you just pop off the end and put it down in there like that. So put it in there. Put the end back on. Maybe I put it in backwards. Okay, so you, okay, you have to push it. You have to push it down in there. There we go. So pretty great, great find. And this was a dollar oh nine, a dollar nine for that much eraser. Really good deal. I'm probably gonna buy some more of those. Those would be really good party favors for uh, like class parties. Um, the next thing are these little book rings. Um, it says 30 piece. They were 89 cents. It said book rings for loose leaf paper. Um, and I did think they would be bigger than they are. But I can still use them. So you get different colors. And okay, so look. I was thinking it'd be hard plastic and then you just snap that in. Which it does snap. Um, but look at that. How flimsy. But I think it'll be okay. If we're making a tag flip or something. I think I'll just go ahead and put some glue. On that little tip. Close it. And let it glue closed like that. To make sure that it won't come undone. Um, so the fact that I can use them that way. I'm pretty happy with them. You get um, some transparent ones, solid ones. So there's like blue, transparent blue, pink, uh, transparent pink in there. Let's see, yellow, transparent yellow, some clear. So yeah, I wish there had been more of this teal color. Uh, but I'm happy with it. And it was, I mean, it was less than a dollar, so you really can't beat that. You're not going to get 30 of these little clips like this uh, for less than a few bucks, you know, anywhere else, so. And then the last thing that's uh, kind of a random or jewelry buy are these super cute little scissor charms. So I'm going to try to paint them gold. If it don't work, then I'll clean it up. Uh, but this was a 10-piece for 79 cents. And let me see if I can get one. So one of them with... Um, it, including the little um, charm hole. It's one and one-eighth of an inch long. So one inch long if you don't count the little hook. So pretty good size little charms for a... Less than a dollar. <laughs> um, all right. And then next. Next. Um, I also have a giveaway goodie for somebody. And I'm about to share that. So let me show you these wax stamps. Wax seal stamps I got. Um. So, I finally got myself one of these uh, little silicone things for, you know, you pour your melted wax onto it and then stamp, and it's silicone so it won't stick. And this one was 99 cents. So, I got this one for me, and as a for a giveaway, um, I got another one here. Um, if you'd like to purchase it, it was only 69 cents. I'm not going to take it out of the package, but I did sm open it and smell it because I smelled something. It smells like sour candy. I don't know why, but it, it smells like sour candy. And there's like, there's nothing sticky on it. Um, but it was 69 cents. Super cute 
the little daisies, or if that's what you call them, you know, and then you got your little area in the middle where you pour your wax. So, uh, I'm going to give this away and maybe some wax stamp, you know, some pieces stamped out, uh, maybe some of these little wax seal beads over here, uh, a few little goodies to whoever wins. Um, so, I'll have the rules in the description box, and along with those rules, somehow, um, I would like you to creatively use the word flower in a sentence. Don't just say, flower, enter me, please don't do that. Or just, hey, like, great video, flower. Um, just try to use it into, in a creative sentence, okay? Um, and I will pick a winner in, you know, the next few days or so, um, and give this away and some other things. So, that's those two. Um, so, I got these wax stampers. So, they each come with their own little handle. Um, I absolutely love that because a lot of companies sell, you know, some handles and then, like, these are separate. And I don't want to keep switching my handles out. I just don't. I want to be able to pick them up and use them. Not wait till they cool down and switch the handle out. So, I'm super excited. See, it just twists right on. Look, cute little pink handle, or that was blue. So, this one is a really pretty gold flower. And then it has this frame design around that will stamp as well. Um, this was only 79 cents for the head and the handle. Let's see. Uh, these two were also 79 cents. So, this one has... These cute little swans, the little hearts floating around them, also came with a handle. This one was 79 cents. It is a, look at this, textured dimensional bow. Is that not beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. Again, with a pink handle, 79 cents. Uh, this one was $1.29. I don't think it gave you the choice to get a handle, like what color, or I would have chosen pink, um, so it came with a blue one. What is that? Oh, so this one doesn't screw in. It's like it has a little, oh, it does screw in. It had a little cover, which now I can't get it out. Maybe it's lubed up. I don't know, but this was covering it like that. And then here is our little so this one's a heart and it has stitch uh, it has like this geometric design as well as stitching around the edges super pretty so we're gonna just screw it in that didn't screw very much it's just a short end I guess but it did go in. There we go. So, love that. I'm going to be using it on my new... I'm going to pour it on there. I'm going to stamp it. Super cute. So glad to have finally gotten some of these goodies. And, of course, i got some really great prices here like this um, from Timu. Alright, and then... I'm almost done, you guys. Thank you for uh, sticking around. <laughs> so, the next one is this adorable little spoon slash spatula um so i know when i do wax smelts in my spoon you pour it but it all don't come out and then they, later you've got to go with a, a you know a napkin and wipe it out and all that um so this is a little spoon and spatula that's silicone so that i can scrape out the excess and get all my wax and not waste it so super excited about that um and that was 99 cents and they had different colors so you can get a different color if you like and then last are these um wax melts so they look at these they look so adorable um they're little puppy paw prints super cute so these were all 79 cents a piece and you get a hundred in each bag i mean that is awesome Mo i mean it I can't even tell you. It is just a great price for 100 pieces. Um, I couldn't believe I saw, like, I had to double look when I saw the price 
for how many pieces. So I got this one called Sky Blue. I got this one called Violet. A light purple. Um, this one is called, uh, it says pink, but it's more like a corally pink. Love it. I cannot wait to play with these. Um, this one is light green. And this one, they were out of the just plain white. Uh, this is called creamy white. A little bit more of a translucent effect, I think. Um, so yeah, that is everything. Um, super excited about all these goodies. I'm going to come back soon with some videos and some tutorials. And please don't forget the giveaway if you want to win this little silicone pad and some other goodies that will go with it. Um, don't forget the word I mentioned and the rules in the description box. So, um, yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you guys for sticking around. If you can't watch to the end, um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.